The new Acura NSX is hanging around the streets of Chicago. Toyota reveals a very bright special edition GT86, and Chevy updates the Silverado's face. Plus Kia with a new entry-level Soul EV. Uh, plus it's hump day, so heavily fans will be stoked for some Friends Day Wednesday. Isn't that right, AK? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, indeed. That and more, all today, right here on Fascinating Daily with me, your host, Eric D. Right, Max? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's go. Kia has updated their soul. I mean, they really, you know, dug down deep and got in touch with their inner self to say, hey, my name is Kia, I'm here, and I'm happy. Oh, oh, the car. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a little, uh, little mix-up. It's all good. Oh, the car. Okay, yeah. The 2016 model year Soul EV has been updated and added a new entry-level spec called EVE. And I don't mean the EVE coming through with the la-la-la. You know, the Rough Rider. Yeah. Included in the starting price of $31,950 is heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, Bluetooth audio, and six-speaker audio system. The highest trim, the EV Plus, comes with a panoramic sunroof, LED interior lighting, and speaker lights that pulse to the beats of the six-speaker audio system. Oh, snap, son. That's what's up. Hey. All 2016 Soul electric vehicles get a charge port nozzle lock. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I guess if you don't want people plugging into your charge port, it's safe charging. Right? Yeah. Sure, gotta practice safe charging. Yeah. You also get an illuminated auxiliary USB port and two new exterior colors, bright silver and shadow black. Unchanged to the Soul EV's electric powertrain, which makes 109 horsepower, but 210 pound-feet of that. Torque. That's right, the Kia Soul, all about the flash. Eh, Kia Soul EV, I'm not mad at him. But the Kia Soul is very into like the colors around the speaker, they're always into the flashy stuff. Literally, flashing stuff. Chevy has tweaked its Silverado truck for 2016, starting with its face. You're getting a new face, and you get Howie Long in this new commercial. There you go. Where they really take digs at Ford's new aluminum F-150, especially with this gem of a line. Well, I guess that's why they don't call that superhero the man of aluminum. <laughs> I yeah. guess. Man of aluminum, no, that's just, that's just killer, Howie. And that other dude's, I guess, is so cheesy. Look. I guess. I mean, this guy. Anyway, this new version loses some of the chrome and adds reshaped LED fog lights. It also has a body-colored strip that runs across the middle of the grill. That looks pretty good. Kind of ties it all in a little better. The hood has been restyled to look more muscular. Chevy has also added an updated MyLink infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, of course, along with extra safety technology to keep you, um, well, safe. Pricing? Don't know. But you know what the word on the street is about. Word is money, brother. Exactly. For the price. You know, it's money, brother. Also, you can throw some hammers back there. Isn't that right, weird smiling guy? I guess. I guess. <laughs> That's right, folks. It's time for another edition of ACSECWCHITUS, a cool special edition car we can't have in the U.S. Toyota has revealed the 86 Yellow Limited based on the GT86. The new Japanese only edition gets a sunrise yellow paint job, black mirrors, and what else, Erica? 17 inch black aluminum wheels. Oh, you got that right. Let's go inside for leather and Alcantara seating, yellow stitching, and black trim. There's also the 86 Yellow Limited Aero Package with a new front bumper and side skirts, underbody aerodynamics, and rear wing. That is how big, Erica? Pretty big. Oh, you said it. In terms of performance, the 86 Yellow gets high performance brake pads, sax shocks, and 18 inch BBS aluminum wheels with stickier tires. Erica, is it coming to the US? Nope. And that'll do it for this show. That's right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the name of the show. That's what they, at, at the end of each time they go through all that, yeah. they do a womp womp because it's not coming to the US. Right. So. Though we still don't know exactly how powerful or quick the brand new Acura NSX will be, we do know how good it looks, right? 
and also how long we've been talking about this damn car. So just let the people buy it already. Let out all the specs. Well, anyway, we've got some new images of the sexy sports car that uh, that are when it, it out and about and it's in it's bleh, out and about <laughs> it's in environment in its environment. Got it. Chicago. These pictures of a pair of NSXs cruising around Chicago suburbs show the sexy sharp lines in the sun. I guess you could say they were having NSX. <laughs> Thanks, AK. We do know that NSX will make at least 550 horsepower. We don't know the exact number yet. From a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 paired with an all wheel drive system. But beyond that, we'll have to wait for more details. And wait. And then wait a little longer, probably. Sure. That seems to be what's going on. All right, let's chill with some loyal FLD fans. Friends Day Wednesday. Is that right, AK? Bring it on, Derek D. Oh, here we go. We'll first start off with FLD fan Prab Sanhawalia. Hope I said your last name right, man. I think I did. I think I nailed it. Yeah. Yep. Count it. Who sent us this picture of a Chevy Aveo Hemi? I mean, it's just the wrong brand, wrong. It's just all wrong. Next is Miguel Val Miguel Valancourt. Valancourt. Like in, uh, what's that movie with Adam Sandler? Where they play a football player. Drawing a blank here. Yeah, me too. Waterboy. Uh, uh, Waterboy. Thanks, AK. Where, Vicky Valancourt. Yeah. Well, Vicky, Vicky Valancourt. Yeah, so, sorry. Miguel Valancourt loves himself some Fords here. He sent us this picture of a Chevy Blazer Audi A6. I mean, take that in for a second. I mean, come on. Whoever owns this thing, the A6 is a car. At least get that right. A Blazer is an SUV. Just put Audi badges and A6 on the back. Come on, man. Terrible. FLD fan Pablo Carillo. He uh, loves himself some baseball. Snap this pic of an Escalade pickup truck. I don't see those too often. No. No, no that's, uh, that's what you call custom, Max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peter Ravina here. Nice face, bro. He's like, <laughs> something like that. Uh, he snapped a couple spy shots in Colorado of a BMW all camoed up. Um, possibly the new 7 Series before its official reveal, um, I think at Frankfurt. But thanks for that. And uh, hey, do you ever say to yourself, I need a giant yellow wing on my old BMW 3 Series? Do you ever say that? No, I have not. No. Yeah, you have not. Well, this guy did. Pretty terrible. This picture was snapped in uh, Greece by a big FLD fan whose name is awesome to say, Christos Papadopoulos. Gotta love it. Christos Papadopoulos. Come on, say it, Erica. Papadopoulos. I can't handle it. Is it Papadopoulos? Papadopoulos. <laughs> sure, but either way, it's awesome. Great name. Next is Desmond Daxter, double D, just like me, who spent us, uh, who sent us, spent us, who sent us this video of a BMW M4 banging a sick U-turn. Nice, sounds good too, which is actually legal there. Not sure drifting U-turns are illegal and, you know, putting some marks in the road, but whatever. It was cool. That video is from YouTube channel Chaos4, Roman numeral 4. Last is a video from Max Bongiorno, mm. who, we wished happy, who we wished him and his brother happy birthday last week, although Max forgot, not our Max, this Max, forgot, us, forgot to tell, tell us his bro's name. I can't talk today. Nope. Forgot to tell us his bro's name, which is Zach. But here is Zach's reaction to the birthday shout out. No way. Oh. What the hell, dude? No. And that's it, Eric. There you go. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't worry. Yeah. I got Was you. Yeah, that it? Yeah, he's like, he's like, no, no, but yes. Yes <laughs> way, dude. I'm totally on the show again. Max and Zach. Bros, it's our birthdays. <laughs> Appreciate you guys uh, both being fans, and thanks to everyone for all the posts. Thank you very much. All right, so check this scenario out. Your, uh, your eccentric uncle dies and leaves you $200,000 in his will and says, hey, hey, you have to buy only cars with this money, nothing else. Can't buy like a $20,000 car and save the rest. You have to buy cars, just cars. So using this setup, our FLD question of the day is, if you had 200,000 bucks, what car or cars would you buy? I guess that, you know, translate that to American dollars and whatever country you're watching in, whatever that's equal to, okay? Me personally, well, a Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> nice, Erica. Yep. Uh, or a Ferrari 458 are both over 200K, so that's out of the question. 
Uh, this is a tough one for me, though. I think I'd get a slightly used Audi R8, which would probably run me like 80, 90K or so. I always love that car. I'd find a 1976 Pontiac Grand Prix in good condition. Mm. Whip it. I'd get a certified pre-owned Ford F-150 Raptor. Throw my dirt bike in the back. Throw some hammers back there as well. And my daily driver would be a brand new Audi S7 or the new Mercedes C63 AMG. Nice. Solid choices. AK. All right, I'm rounding out numbers here, Derek. Rounding out. <laughs> 125,000 new Porsche 911. There you go. Okay. Ooh, I forgot 30,000 and get an Outback for the daily driver. All right. Right, and for the 45,000, give or take, I got left over, I'll buy each of my kids a V-Dub GTI. <laughs> mm. Or something mid twenties. Yeah. Right. Am I? Yeah. You, you, GTI. You couldn't get two of those. Probably forty five. Or some, but you get them maybe a golf. I previously owned. Yeah. You get a VW Golf or yeah. something or a Jetta. Nice. So four cars. Nice. See, family man, AK. Oh, you, you know. Yeah. yeah. If it was me alone. I'd say the hell with it. <laughs> but you know, I got to be practical. What about you, Max? Oh, I'd buy a two hundred thousand dollar car, and then I'd return it. And keep the cash. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know if that's how this works. Uh, I don't know. Uncle but. Leon didn't want that in his will. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Leon didn't want that. That's right. So a bunch of CLAs? Yeah. yeah. I guess he would haunt me then. Yeah. With that, I'd have all that, <laughs> but I'd have all that sweet cash. Erica, what about you? A couple Subarus? A couple Subarus. Not a Maybe. couple. You can get one. Top of the line. Deborah uh, XSTI? I mean, that's still a way less than 200. Yeah. So I get four of them. You want four? Different colors. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the new blue, the old blue, some black. Oh, if you go different white. colors, okay, if you wanna, yeah. okay, all right, all right, so there you have it. Let's know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLD, Q of the D, and you can send your own in too. Tips at fastlanedaily.com. Thank you, AK. And uh, thank you for watching, and that is gonna do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. You guys are the best, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Long episode today? A little bit. Solid though. Oh, yeah. Solid though. So Max, you were working in your garage. I was working in my garage and then a big bug flew in. And you filmed it. I filmed it and then I thought it was dead so I threw it outside. Yeah. Then when I was leaving to go inside, I saw it flying again. So I grabbed my phone and by the time uh, I got my phone out, it was right in front of my face. And this is the sound I made. Ah! Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.